Good morning, YouTubers. All right, we are we are at Los Angeles, California, on South Mapleton Drive. You see this house right here. This is five thirty, Mapleton Drive. There is the address right there, at the bottom. And here's it right here on the wall. Somebody purchased this property from Christopher Chu. And then this is the house that were there. And um, this is the house that were there on the property. That house right there. And um, this is the house now that is being built there. That one right there. That is a satellite overhead view of it. This one right here. That is being built right there in the place of it. Uh, they tore down the house which, which was right here. Which is the one that you would see um, right here in the picture. That house right there, it was being filmed by Google car, camera, street view car, when it passed on the road on the month of June in 2011. So this property has been recently bought and it's been built it there and so on. So, this house right now should be updated on Google Maps when I go to Google Car, pass through this area again. See that? So all of that is gone. The person bought the property, now they build this mega mansion right here. See that? Mega mansion. We can go, we can look at the address of it. We can go down, scroll down, look at the address of it. Here's it, we can even Google this. and see if it's on Zillow, if the house is completed and it's put up for sale. So you can go here and look if it's, if it's on, the new house is finished. This is what the lot look like, so we scroll down and look. We want to find out if the same old house, this, and um, if they put a new structure there. Yes, it's the same old house. This is the front entrance gate with 530 right here on the stone wall. This is the same old house is still there, but they do not know that this is torn down and another structure is being built. Okay. This is the structure now there. As you can see, they look alike. You see that? Cool. They look alike. They look alike. This is the structure that is now there. That building right here. This one. This is the structure there, right there. This new one right here. That. So Google Maps need to be updated to show for this new construction right here. But I don't know when it's gonna pass through. And there are some other beautiful homes there as well. Let me see if we can actually find. Let me go and see if I can find it. If that house is there. Real time this one is red film. Let us go there and look if the information is updated. See that? So the house is sold August 5, 2011. And Google Maps. I'd map the street somewhere in June of 2011. Here, the street was mapped in June of 2011 and then. Two months after the house is sold, whoever buy it, they buy it from Christopher True, the guy that is on YouTube. And um, there is something here that says the house is built in 2017, and probably this is the resale for the Ford house. The property was bought for 14 million four hundred thousand, and now they build a new property, a new house on that property, selling it for 20 million dollars. Okay, so. That if, if the record is correct, then you can spend $20 million for this and get it. But they have now 11 bedrooms and, 20, and 21 bathrooms. And this is it right here. This is it. This is it. This is the house. Oopsie. Come on. This is the house that they are selling for. Um, this is the house they are selling. Right here for twenty odd million dollars. This uh, eleven bedrooms and twenty one bathrooms. Here is it right here. Eleven bedrooms, 
the property was sold where this house was on it this house was on it 14.4 million dollars they bought it with this house and they tore down this house right here and then they built this one and this one right here this is the price for it right here 20 million dollars 749,000 okay so we can go here property history and we can scroll down and look for even the tax how much they'll pay for the tax for the property all right we get a a compare agent service show taxes and fees you see the buyer agent commission that's what they get five hundred and eighty eighteen thousand seven hundred and thirty two dollars and the excise tax is 116,196 and then title insurance is 37,760 escrow fee see that 36,000 miscellaneous fees 500 show taxes and fees that they have to pay for so this roughly about 600,000 600,000 600, wow roughly 650,000 uh, 660,000 if you were to take out this house on a mortgage you'll be paying like $75,000 500 per month on a 30 year mortgage fixed at 4.39% interest this is a very bad thing to do the USA is right here H O A D U. You see that? Cool. Either this is controlled by a home owners association dues, but you should see a value here. But we cannot add anything here because there's nothing here. Utilities and maintenance. It's not a part of this building structure. Otherwise, you'll see a value right here at these two hyperlinks that says add. But mortgage payment and so on and so on and so forth. You see, it's not good to buy a property that is H O A controlled. Not good to pay maintenance for your property. It's good to own your property outright, and it's only exclusive, only to you to maintain your own property. We are not under any due arrest to do anything. All right, listing details. All right, there we go. Let me go back here. So the land, the land value is 15 million. And then additions is 8.9 million. Then the total value of assets value for taxes is 24.875. See that? The tax value is this. Therefore, want to know how to look at the percentage. It is really 33,652 square feet. And so on. So we can run a calculator on this one. Where's my calculator? You want to know how much? Copy that land assess value. We paste it here. Put equal sign. It's one point eight percent. So I multiply this decimal by one hundred percent to get the real percent. One decimal place, two decimal place. It will multiply this by one hundred. One point eight percent they'll pay every year based off of the land tax assess value that property so these are the kind of monies people are gonna pay if you want these expensive properties in Beverly Hills not grumbling but we're just saying I have to have a lot of money to really undertake this 
you can go down to Zillo and look at Zillo have a better picture but it seems like it's the same old picture the same old house there it is it doesn't show for it the new one because I think that one is not finished yet now you can see the information the details for the old house it was a five bedroom five and a half bathroom at 6,395 square feet you see that And if you want to know how much for a square feet we're paying here, we can just simply um, copy this information. Click, click clear, enter, right click, place, click divide. Then we copy the amount of square footage. And then we click add that there and then divide. We're paying $2,421.52 per square footage of a house. Its area is 6,393 square feet and it has five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms and so on. And we can go and truly and look at certain values too. Now we look at something to compare. This house is sixteen million nine hundred and fifty thousand. It was eighteen million five hundred thousand and they they decreased it. It's in Bel Air. And this one has eight bedrooms, twelve bathrooms. So all you gotta do to know is the square footage makes sense to buy. We take this number. Copy that, declare entered, right click, paste, and click divide sign. Then we take the amount of square footage. Where is it? Oh, here's it. And then we also paste, and then we divide it. We're playing $1,490.24 for square footage. This house is a better deal than the one we just saw, which is this one. Um, yeah, because I think I calculate a value. Okay, this is the value of it here. It's true. The house is roughly 15 million something, and the tax assets value is 2018 divided by that to get that to get 1.8. But it depends on how the city really assessed it. Well. So far so good. This one comparable look nicer and look much more better off. Real estate man. This is a black chick. Agent with RX Realty. Michelle X. Well. Okay, let's look on these guys here. Aaron Kerman, agent with John Arrow Group. Specialties is buyer's agent and listing agent. Properties two hundred fifty-eight.
As you can see, 85% single family homes. These are mostly the homes found in Beverly Hills here. And um, as you can see, most, most of his portfolio is 70% of them are sellers, and then 29% of his portfolio as a listing agent is basically a, a buyer agent. It's 29% 20, of his entire buyer agent listing agent portfolio is 29%, and 71 listing. He has he has a thirty two million dollar max and three point one million dollar average. So he has also a website. You can go to and this is his other properties that he has up for sale listing. And um we're going to go on a website, we're gonna go and find um a property that is very beautiful. 1251 Shadow Hill Shadow Hill, California We're gonna go on Zillow We're gonna see what it is saying here This is the property This one is newly built in 2017 And we can also look at the money 19,999,000 We're gonna take this right here The sale price figure Then we're gonna clear enter it Right click on the place, right click division sign, and then we'll put in 11,073 square feet. We're going to find out how much. See that? This is $1,806.10 per square footage. You're paying for the total amount of ear that you have there. The total amount of ear that the house covered is 11,073 square feet. So we're paying $1,800 a square feet. Okay, so. Um, and this property on Zillow you now, 429 days over one year. And then it has 11,038 views and so on. The thing with this property, it has no yard, no front yard for the price of nearly $20 million. It has no backyard, it has no lawn and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It only have this beautiful glass looking structure and it has beauty and attraction to it and so on. And this also, it was featured on YouTube, I think it's in 2018 or something. Let me see if I can find it. All right, there's the two guys. One is a designer and the other is a reviewer. And um, those are the guys who are in the up for sale and so on. Okay. So those are the people who are selling that property, you know. That property is very des well designed, look beautiful and attractive. And um, it doesn't seem to have any drapery alongside the windows. I mean, to prevent too much people from seeing inside the home. But if nobody's seen inside the home, no big deal. But when it comes to night and the lights are turned on, maybe other people from a distance can spy inside of your home with a binoculars. Or some sniper rifle. So then, you know, those also when you buy, they have to put in your own drapery and then, you know, seal up your privacy when night comes and the lights are turned on the drapery, you just automatically zip them with a button press to um, seal off um, prying eyes. Yep. Those look good and thing, bro. Very well. One thing I like with the homes, the trees are right there. You see them, you see the beauty of it. And there's another feature I like with the home here. This backdrop of trees right there, real trees right here. And when you already just press the button and it slide by the door, I like that feature right there. You can get the fragrance of the roses and fragrance of the plants and the flowers. Whenever you sit in this chair right there, you're reading something on your laptop or you're conversing with a friend or two. You know what I mean? And I like these um, concrete, uh, not concrete, these decorations at the ground is like a sea stone um, outlay right there where this guy's feet is standing up on right here. I like that right there. That's a very good um, layout for the feet with those round steps and those uh, sea stones, you know. Look at the backdrop of it. It looks nice. Very good. He's the one who designed it. And... Um, 
it built according to his specs maybe the owner wants it that way and that's the house you're selling for you know 19 million right here that is it right here they're selling that for basically 19 million dollars that's a five bedroom seven bathroom home yeah so um this house is 1800 square feet when you look at the price 19 million nine something when you look at it look at the 11,000 uh, square feet 11,000 square feet and then you click on this one here am i correct this one this one has um eight bedrooms and 12 bathroom at 11,374 at 11,374 square feet it has eight bedrooms and 12 bathrooms for 16 million nine hundred sixty thousand dollars just to find out if this house have more lawn on it at the front and at the back and then you compare it with this one and then you can know know that your choice overall will be this house right here you'd rather choose to buy this one you can scroll down hopefully we don't know if we're going to find the property tax details but maybe we can this house has a lot size of 1.54 acres and this one has one of i think it's a third let me see if i can find it here Deco, uh details 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 here's it the lot size here for this one is a third of an acre okay and um this one here I'm sure we can scroll and file the property tax details. This is what concerned me. Um, first of all, I look if the house is a HOA, Home Owners Association, if it's a part of that. If the house is a part of that, I do not buy it. Just that simple. This is the annual tax amount, okay? Let's say if the city will accept my offer, I can offer them. Well, I take the yearly amount, tax amount, and then what I do, I just factor everything into the price that I'm going to pay for for the house. I multiply this by 25 years. And then if the city will accept from me four million four hundred and thirty four thousand nine hundred and twenty five dollars then if they'll accept that i'll just write them a check and let them get that money and then i won't be paying any tax for a quarter of a century if the real estate value go down and the tax assets value go down then the city can credit me and my account for that no big deal they do not have to send me back any money that is how i plan to pay off my taxes in advance if the city you know, will agree to take a big paycheck like that for 25 years up on the present annual tax amount of $177,397, but if the property value goes up, which I do not think is going to go up because property values are too high right now, and um, now it's 2019, and then we understand that, you know, 11 years ago, in 2008, we had a real estate market collapse, the market began to go down from when we have, you know, Lehman Brothers uh, began to... Um, having problems and then they'll mortgage back securities causes a problem and don't turn in the economy so we know that it takes a long time for the prices to to rebound so right now i think the prices are high so i don't think the house value the resale value will go up higher than this unless of course the seller will be waiting very long in order to sell this house if they buy right now at 19 million nine hundred ninety nine thousand, and then you know sales tax will be factored into this and other form of fees and so on probably go up to 20 20 million or 21 million dollars okay but when you, if you want to keep the property for long like how i plan to do it providing i have the millions then all i gotta do is just take out of my millions an additional four point something million dollars like what is in the calculator here and then just offer the city that ask them if they will take um property tax in advance for 25 years and just pay them and then you live worry worry free on your property for quarter of a century okay and so on so that means that if the resale value of your house um, goes down, then they'll credit your tax account. If the resale value go up, then they can bill you the difference and it won't be much. It just will be increments added to 4434925 So just that my wisdom might share with other people going forward. Okay, so let us go and browse and look at the pictures of the house and so on. Pretty good, pretty nice. Not gonna lie, look really, really nice. And this right here, this look like it's fictitious grass right here. You know that this right here is no real grass. It's fictitious grass, just like on the baseball um, stadium field. You know they make up some like artificial green looking thing like grass, but it's really artificial. It's not real grass. And that is why I wouldn't buy it because they have to make this a real grass for me to walk on and to water it and so on. Okay. But these things right here, these little tall little stick-like trees, they are real. 
but this right here on the ground it's not real it's like so it's illusion and so that's why i don't like with these expensive properties they are selling for 20 million and over but it doesn't have any backyard to play you have no ground you know what i'm saying so garage is basically inside of it and so on and um you don't have any space outside you know to make a garage or make one nearly attached to the house where which when you park your garage you know park your car in an external garage you can actually open a door and walk inside the main um all way but the cars are inside there you know but this you should you show you that the small amount of land right here is just a third of an acre and it doesn't really have any um extra land for playground for your children and if your children should play they would probably take risk and go on the road where there's some guy coming to the car you know hitting them down so I wouldn't buy this property right here. I only buy it because I like the design, but I wouldn't buy it because it has artificial grass and no um, yard space at the back or the front. Sufficient enough for children to play. So that's the reason why I wouldn't buy it. So on. I'd rather probably buy this one right here. This one right here. Let me click on the picture. Let me see if I can increase this. And um, this one here, um, it's a checkout. That's the kitchen. That looks nice. Okay, that's a dining here. This house has, I think it has it, um, eight bedrooms and 12 bathrooms. That's a lot. Of, you can raise a lot of family there. A lot of children you can get in the world. Right? Let me see this. Oh, the reflection looks easy. Still have a view. Wow, look at the view. Wow, and this on the upper balcony on the second floor. That's look good. You can you just need a binoculars. All right, end of that. So well, so far let me look what is also in the nine zero zero seven seven zip code here. Ten thousand four hundred fifty square feet. Divide eight million seven fifty. So you know how much per square foot. I look at this house. One hundred and fifteen million dollars. This is the house I'm not gonna buy. What's a waste of money? Nine bedrooms and ten bathrooms at twelve thousand two hundred and one square feet. Let us see if we can put in. Let us see if we can click on this. Let us see if we can find out how much dollar per square foot we pay here. Clear and third. Divide and then now. Square footage would be that, and we get that, and then we see. See, look at this house, it's very much overpriced. Overpriced, see that? $9,425.45 you're paying for one square footage. It's overpriced. This is the property you don't waste your money and buy. Because if you should choose to buy this property right now, you're not only going to pay $115 million. You're going to pay probably up to 116 or 117 million dollars another one and a half million probably added to that for sales tax purposes and other form of real estate broker fees and other stuff and they have to find out if it's a part of a hoa association that control the maintenance of the property and so on see now so this house is clearly overpriced a square footage alone is for nine thousand something it doesn't work waste of time I click on it and look at the pictures. Let's just take a browse through through the pictures and look. It has yard. It has the yard east, west, north, and south. It seems like. And look at land. It's a lot of land and trees. A lot of playground for children. See that? It has a lot of things right here. And I yet to find out how many acres it covers. Could be. Wow, look at that. It could be 10 acres. Look at it. See the parameter? This is a parameter here. See that? This is the parameter here. Go all the way out. So let me see if I can click and look how many acres this house boasted. I'm gonna find out. Let me see if I can scroll down and find. And then it was um designed by a renowned architect Robert D. For a car in 1936. It's pretty old. A majestic Italian Renaissance um revival. 
All right, let me see how many um, acres this thing is built on. 3.87 acres. It's pretty large. So, okay, so at 9,424 for square feet, I, I did not see this, but I think I worked it out before. There's the same thing I got here, 9,425 dollar per square feet. You see that? It's very much expensive for that kind of a price. All right, simple that. Somebody purchased this home here in 2016, three years ago for $90 million. And they are making $25 million on it. You see that? $25 million they are making on this property alone. Anybody buy this is basically a fool. If they do not do their price history research on this property located at 141 South Carlwood Drive, uh, Los Angeles, California. So you have to do your research and look at what is overpriced. See how much money they're making? It was last bought for $90 million, and then whoever now is reselling it put a $25 million markup on that amount right here. Okay, so everybody can see the illusion that you can't truly buy these properties when they are overpriced and then you expect to, you know, to think you should sell it back. <laughs> Who's going to buy from you? It's going to take too long. I like this property right here. I like how it, it stay upright. I like this one here. Oh, this one is not built yet. This one look like it's a computer generated image. This look like it's a prospect for a build on land. And um, they began to carve out this right here. So that look like a real tractor right here. And this one is selling for $59 million, 12 bedroom, 14 bathrooms, and so on. As you can see, this image right here is a computer generated image by a design software. And um, you can look at it right here. Very, very beautiful and attractive, but the prices are too overpriced. Price per square footage is too much. They probably have you pay for the cars inside there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Close that off. Let me go down and look. It's a forty thousand dollar square foot home. Let's just see if we can actually gather up some gross here by looking at what. The real estate footage would be like and um, one thousand four hundred seventy five dollars for a square footage for a forty thousand square foot home not bad it's way lower than the other was 115 million way better off for 60 million dollars let us see if we can scroll down and see what the property tax on this home would be and this is the lot size that you're getting with it. See that? 30 acres. It, it worth it. It worth it. What? $1,475 a square foot. You're getting 30 acres uh, uh, of property with the, plus the house built. Okay? And so on. And um, what, this is a problem. I won't buy it because I have to pay $1,730 per month to the Home Owners Association in that year. I don't want to buy any property. That are HOA control. I don't like those people. Whenever they're ready, those, those people want to jack up the monthly uh, payment for maintenance of a property. I don't want to pay that. I definitely don't want to pay that. I want to pay that myself. I don't want to be a part of no HOA. They are bullshitters. They suck. Just that simple. All I care about when I'm buying a house, if it's not overpriced when it comes to the square footage, and if the HOA is a part of it, I don't want it. And if the taxes is per year, is okay. Because I really want to pay at least a 25 years uh, property tax in advance if the city will accept a check like that from me. No big deal. I don't want to be buying a property and worrying about um, cost of keeping the property. I just want to be worry free for a quarter century. Give me a better peace of mind and so on. Let me see if I can scroll on some more and look at certain things. You see this house? They said the medium sale price in this year is $1,750,000. And they say this home is $59 million. And it tells you that it's 3,271% above the median sale price. You see that? So it is telling you that 3,000 is saying to you that, let me see if I can, uh, let, let me find out. We take this number, 
we should eat a get we should a eat we should eat a get 32.7 times when we divide the 59 million dollars by one to one million seven hundred fifty thousand divide this by we should get 32.71 times let's see if we can uh, make a decision here all right we thrown it off to 33.7 so yes 33.7 times you're gonna pay over the medium sale price in this year for what other houses are selling for in this median sale price year of a one to one one million seven hundred fifty thousand. So you see you're paying basically thirty two. When you multiply when you multiply um this by ten, you will end up with thirty two point seven one. But it drawn it up thirty three something. See that? So this look overpriced to me, you know, but you get it a thirty acre lot. And um it's because it's controlled by home owners association i don't like it i don't like it at all all right so um, this is the monthly mortgage people is going to pay if they take this house out on credit see that calculate your monthly mortgage payments your estimate payment is 256,000 per year see that a lot at 3.69 percent 30 year fixed you see that so it's a wicked thing contact an agent one of these person you have to contact to get it the lean teshna amy calvin Kaz, and santiago arana and sarah one of these people have to actually uh, contact it but i'm not interested because it is hoa so other people giving you reviews here and so on yep all right let me end this video i think we have have explained certain things about my take on buying homes i think this video has reached about 20 minutes now oh this video is about 38 minutes now so might as well i just brought it to an end okay youtubers thank you for viewing my little video again concerning real property cost and what you should choose well what i should choose i'm choosing for myself i'm just making a video to show other people what i would choose for myself and so on all right we're gonna make another video of these things going forward and then we call it a day and done okay have a nice day youtubers goodbye this is the real estate lover i'm out